I'm Galen Zamara, the chef at Moss Farmhouse. I'm here at the Union Square Green Market, where buying local and buying fresh straight from the farmer is what we do in Manhattan. And we're gonna walk around today and we're gonna see what's best and what's in season. And we're gonna make our menu for the dinner tonight. Building a relationship with the farmers is the big key. We want to know who's growing what and how they're growing things. So I already have an idea of who has what, but I just like to walk around. Sometimes you're surprised. Maybe you see something that's new or a new farmer, and you can kind of get an idea for the menu. A lot of these vegetables that are here were picked either this morning or yesterday, late last night. And they're going to be prepared in the restaurant and on the diner's plates tonight and tomorrow. So that's absolutely as fresh as food can get. So this is Flying Pigs Farm and this is where I buy my pigs from. And one of the great things about some of the farmers here is they'll deliver to the restaurants. So obviously a pig is a little bit too big to be hauling around in a taxi cab. So they have ham hocks, seared meats, fresh meat, and eggs. And this is some of the best pig that you can find anywhere. So part of the advantage of buying locally straight from the farmers here is that we're keeping the money in the community and the money from the restaurants going straight to the farmers' hands. There isn't a lot of middlemen and not a lot of big businesses are getting all the cuts from it. Look at this cauliflower. Uh, we got large, That's beautiful. <laughs> well, this is some nice dried garlic. And over here, you have some fresh garlic coming right out of the clove like that. It might be a nice heirloom variety or an old variety, and the quality is going to be really good. These are called Jack B. Little Pumpkins, and uh, mostly I want a nice uniform size because we're going to roast them whole. They're basically just like a pumpkin, but very, very small. He's by the pound or by the piece? By the piece. I better be counting them. <laughs> so we're not just buying fruits and vegetables at the farmer's market. Flowers is a good example. We buy all of our flowers here at the farmer's market, and this garden is uh, one of our favorites. You can see that they have a huge selection of seasonal things all growing. Uh, locally, and it gives the restaurant that great farmhouse -y feel. Okay, I got what I needed from the farmer's market. Let's head back to the kitchen and get started on it. Okay, we're gonna cut the top of this pumpkin off, and we're gonna scoop out all the seeds with a spoon. Just like that. And we'll season it up with salt and pepper. Fresh cinnamon stick and nutmeg. And some brown sugar. And then I'm gonna get some melted butter and pour that over. Put the top back on. And I put a little butter on the outside too because we're actually going to um, serve this with the skin on it and we want the skin to get nice and tender and uh, that's it we're going to pop this in the oven about 375 degrees and roast it for about an hour or two until it's totally tender so uh, the name of the restaurant is moss farmhouse the design of the restaurant is meant to look like a small cottage in the country we have a lot of uh, stone walls that were built we use a lot of reclaimed wood that we got from barns to give it that really homey feel. The food is French-inspired New American cuisine. The menu does change daily here, um, and it basically means that as the foods come in and out of season, we're going to use what's best and we're going to change the menu up accordingly. So this is the roasted Jack the Little Pumpkin that we did. We made a butternut squash risotto that it's filled with, and these are grilled wild porcini mushrooms, and I finished it with a little drizzle of the uh, pumpkin seed oil. Also on the menu right now, we have a tureen of roasted organic beets and goat cheese with spiced pecans and lemon vinaigrette. As well, we have a tomato confit stuffed with pine nuts and basil. 
with a black truffle vinaigrette. We're mindful of where we get our stuff from, how it's produced, and um, take our time preparing it, and hopefully the diner's gonna take their time enjoying it.